let's proceed eh, with this force and motion uniform accelerations eh? okay relationship between displacement velocity accelerations and time now uh, this is a chart eh? um, there are three types of motions okay there are three types of motions uh, you must be very very clear about this eh? okay or else uh, uh, a lot of students confuse because they don't know which formula to use uh, which equations to use uh, when they see your questions Okay, because they don't understand this okay so the very first thing that you need to know is uh, there are three types of motions okay the first one is motion with constant velocity constant velocity means that the velocity does not change okay from the beginning to the end the velocity is the same that is a uh, motion with constant velocity yeah? and for motion with constant velocity we can solve it by using this formula v equals s over t yeah? okay um, v is a uh, speed of velocity yeah? velocity or speed equal to displacement divided by time okay velocity or speed uh, equals to if, if it's speed then this is distance uh, divided by time if it th that is for motion with constant velocity yeah? okay uh, but it can also apply for uh, finding average speed eh? for average speed is also for average speed eh? or average velocity okay average speed or average velocity then you can use this formula okay uh, velocity equal to displacement divided by time okay uh steven asks what's displacement um I'm not, I'm not going to explain it now because this is uh, what we discussed in previous lessons, okay? If I, I, I discuss that, then uh, it's, it's going to be very long and then we don't have enough time for today's lessons. Okay? Yeah? Mm. But uh, what you can say is okay, is correct. Distance travel in a fixed direction. <laughs> okay? But if we really want to explain that, it takes quite some time, 10 to 20 minutes. Okay? Okay, that is for motion with constant velocity. Yeah? Constant velocity, you use this formula, okay? Uh, there are another types of motions where the speed change, yeah? where the speed change, that is accelerations. Yeah? And if the acceleration is constant, constants are uniform, yeah? accelerations. Motion with constants are uniform accelerations, then uh, uh, the problem can be solved by using this four uh, formula. Okay, it can be solved by using this four formula. And a very bad news for you, you must memorize this four formula. Okay? It's given in the formula list of the exam. Uh, except this one. Eh? This one is not given. Eh? The other three are given. This one, this one, and this one are given. Okay. But anyway, you still need to memorize it. It's because if you don't memorize it, sometimes you don't even know you want to use it. Okay? So, make sure that you memorize this four formula. Okay? No matter what's the method you use, uh, make sure that you memorize this four formula. So, that is a formula for uh, motion with uniform accelerations or unif uh, constant accelerations. Uh. Okay. Motion with changing accelerations. <coughs> uh, this one. The acceleration change, uh, the acceleration increase or decrease, uh, okay? Now this one, we can solve it by using calculus and uh, you, you, you are going to learn calculus in uh, form 5. Uh, not, not form 5, okay? Form 4 and form 5, okay? You learn f uh, differentiations in form 4 and uh, integrations in form 5, okay? You are, you are going to learn it in uh, additional mathematics, okay? Um, actually, we have one, chap uh, one chapter uh, in Ed Max for this. Uh, that's the second last chapters. Or last chapters I can't remember called linear motions uh, in at math from five uh, from five at math you have this uh, linear motions the last or the second last chapter I can't remember um, in that chapters you are going to use calculus to uh, solve the problems that involve accelerations and velocity and displacement okay but in physics uh, uh, you can forget about this okay if you don't take at math uh, uh, then you don't need to know about this okay so 
this is the MS questions, eh? not physics question. Physics, we only have this one. Motion with constant velocity and motion with constant accelerations. Movement with constant accelerations. Eh? So we have these five, uh, sorry, these four equations, right? U stands for what? U is initial velocity. Okay, U is initial velocity. That's uh, velocity at the very beginnings of the motions. Okay, Eunice? Yeah, U stands for initial velocity. V stands for final velocity. Final velocity. A, acceleration. S is the displacement. And uh, T is the time. Eh? T is the time. Okay, so... Uh, last lessons that uh, you have learned that acceleration equals to the change of the velocity divided by times right okay so if you move these times uh, to this side then you have at yeah? at equals to v minus u and then uh, if you move this u to another side then you have uh, v equals to u plus at yeah? that's the first equations okay that's the first equations um I, I'm, I'm not going to discuss the others uh, okay uh, just let you know that actually this and this one and this one actually is the same okay they are the same okay um, so try to memorize it uh, if not today then tonight after the after this this class okay you can memorize it on tomorrow okay try to memorize it as soon as possible eh? okay so uh, it's a very very useful equations